I'm here in a big break shoreline somewhere here in Oakley in California. You may hear some um, wind hustling and buzzing surrounding me because it's windy at this afternoon and that's um, I'm so my apologies for the audio. Hello for today's video let's talk about eight factors that affect teacher salary teaching here in California. What are the factors? kung paano magiging malaki o madadagdagan yung sweldo ng isang teacher. Number one is educational level. Although having a bachelor's degree is one of the main requirement in teaching, it's more advantage if you have a master's degree. First year teacher earns more like $2,000 than the bachelor's degree and this will increase over time. Taking master's takes a lot of effort time, money, dedication to complete it, though it's a good investment. I've been saying this before, na having a master's degree is an edge, um, not only for the teaching experience, but also for the salary. So, dito po, it will have a more or less $2,000 na mas malaki yung salary mo kapag may master's degree kasi it adds up to what you ever have. Kaya lang, um, Shampe, you have to take a lot of effort, diba? Pupunta ka sa school, you have to like spend money of it and you have to like finish it para maging full-fledged ka na master's degree. And um, it's a good investment kasi it's, that's a lifetime investment. Number two is teaching experience. So when it comes to paying teachers, school districts in California often use step and lane schedule. So the gradual pay increase that a teacher receives each year are referred to as steps. For instance, a teacher finished one year of teaching and two years after, and that's one step and two steps respectively. Every step a teacher takes improves or increases salary. When I got in here, I already have 15 years of experience way back to the Philippines. And the good thing is that they acknowledge that. So I started, but I think the maximum um, number years of teaching is only 13 years during that time when I got hired. So, well, I got 13 years already when I got here. So, nasa step 13 ako. And that's a lot of uh, ano, um, uh, steps, right? And thereafter, it increases a year. So, naging 14, naging 15. And yeah, it has an increase every year. And that's the good thing. So, during several years on job on the job so a teacher typically stops getting salary increase when finally hit the maximum number of steps teachers who obtain master's degree or who obtain more credits towards their education paid according to the step and lane salary schedule so the school district salary schedule plus the teaching experience will determine how a teacher's income is affected number three school's location so where you work, especially in California, has a big impact on your pay. Depending on location and school district, teachers with comparable qualification and, and experience may receive quite different salaries. But also remember that living expenses are a major factor. Even while salaries in upscale locations are often significantly greater than in low income in rural areas. The cost of living expenses such as rent, groceries, and other expenses balances the pay. Location has a big impact talaga pagdating sa salary. Kapag kasi na-assign ka sa cities, malaki yung sweldo compared naman sa mga rural areas. Kaya lang yung disadvantage din kung um, is kung nasa cities, syempre, mataas yung cost of living. Yung groceries, mga, mahal din yung mga presyo ng bilihin at saka yung mga rentals. is mahal din. Okay, number four, elementary versus middle versus high school. So in California, elementary and middle school teachers often earn less than those who teach at high schools. So it is crucial to remember that teachers with the highest salaries typically have the most experience both teaching and education. I think there is a difference din between high school, elementary, and middle school teacher, but hindi naman ganun kalaki. Uh, but including the factors yung sinabi ko kanina na educational background or experience plus master's degree talagang malaki yung sweldo but like I said hindi ganun talaga kalaki yung agwan number five public versus private versus charter school in California there are three main categories of K-12 to education um, there is a public schools every child in the district is welcome to attend public schools which are free 
charter schools run by private or nonprofit institutions. While the private school students must pay tuition, they have greater control over the curriculum. Teachers in private and charter schools are paid less than those in public schools. On the other hand, a private school teacher with a high tuition might pay more. So parang teachers in private and charter are paid less compared to like as a public school teacher. Number six, teaching students with disabilities. Teachers who possess the necessary qualifications to teach students with disabilities, also referred to as special education teachers, earn more than the general ed teacher counterparts. So district namin para ito siyang ano um, stipend, um, special education teacher stipend. Meron talaga kami na tatanggap, uh, which is more extra and added to our salary. And we, I remember, it's not in a one-time payment, but it's gonna be in a monthly basis. But the amount should be covered for the entire year, for the entire school year. Number seven, becoming a coach. So becoming a coach is one way to increase a salary in California. School usually provides coaches a set amount of money in addition to base compensation. A coach should work full day in addition to stay late to watch practices and games and should meet the requirements. Kagaya ng mga athletic coach dito, like basketball coach, volleyball coach. So if you have that requirement and you are qualified, then you will be hired as a coach and that's an additional payment to the base minimum um, salary that you're having and you're gonna be paid in a monthly basis. So dagdag sweldo din yun. Number eight, teachers union. According to research, educators, especially seasoned educators who work in public unionized school districts, makes more money. Teachers union may offer additional perks like discounts in addition to giving bargaining power over the school board. However, a teacher is required to pay monthly dues. That is true. That is a perk of um, working in a district na merong uh, teachers union. Kasi uh, you are protected as a teacher and then once the bargaining team will ask for an increase, Ikaw din ay mabiyayaan for that increase, and that's the good if you will have a, um, if you will be a member of the teachers union. But you have to pay a monthly juice every month. You have to pay for that to enjoy the benefits. Okay, I hope it provides that information of how um, salary here in California affects. And thank you so much for watching in this video. Hope to see you.